What's going on YouTube? I bring you greetings and salutations from my family, my friends. Hope you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving. Hope, hope you guys had lots of time to spend with your family, your friends, and like I said, the people that you care a great deal about. Today's video, it, we're back to the getting greasy episodes. Um, in a previous video, I showed you my little doodlebug DB30. Um, as you can see, I got some progress going on it. So let me show you what I got. First, we'll come over on the pull start side. Um, this is a Predator 212, six and a half horsepower engine stock. Now I have a, a, a Go Power Sports Stage One kit on it, which is a uh, larger carburetor jet the k and AirPod, and a aftermarket exhaust system. Now, the exhaust system is on this one is a, probably the equivalent of a factory one. I've drilled out the muffler, or I've drilled a few holes out of the muffler to make it a little more free-flowing, because it's designed for like, if I remember correctly, an 80cc engine. This is a 212, so I wanted to make sure that it had plenty of plenty of breathability um the air comes out of there pretty quick um and i may actually end up drilling that out more because uh i want to i don't want to abuse the engine and make it have to work harder but that aside so what we got here is i welded some tabs onto the frame i got one right here and one on the other side over here and for those of you who have been with me since the gas bike build, you'll notice I'm using, I'm still using that aluminum engine bracket. And the reason for that is that I needed a riser for the engine to fit on the doodle bug here so that the torque converter would fit on it. And, uh, and it worked out, and it happened to work perfectly. So I just went ahead and used it because, well, if the shoe fits, wear it. So we're rocking the 420 chain. I got a 50 tooth 420 sprocket on the back wheel there. Had to get the uh, 50 tooth from Go Power Sports because it was the 35 chain sprocket that was on the back before. And I don't have 35 chains. So I, since I had the 420, I just spent the couple extra bucks to get a 420 sprocket and that we ought to be in business for some time for a good amount of time here now i know the exhaust system looks a little goofy here um aiming down normally it would be flipped around so that it would come up and then out but the problem was is that this pipe would have run into the seat here and i really wasn't interested in burning up the seat with the exhaust system so I just flipped it around and made it point backwards in that way. And the nice thing is, is that it clear is that it clears the seat and and uh, it doesn't run. You don't run the risk of burning your pants off. But uh, we are using the gear between the torque converter plate mount plate and the driven pulley for this time. Um, for those of you who might remember from one of the gas bike videos, I was trying to use the gear, I don't know if you can see, yep, there it is, right in the center of the screen. But I was going to try and use that gear to connect it to the back of the bike. And uh, that didn't, that ended up not working. And I honestly just could not get the gears to line up with one another. And so that's one of the reasons why I went to the doodle bug for this particular project. And I just wanted something I could putt around on. I had been wanting a mini bike ever since I saw a Coleman CT200U, and those are pretty sweet little bikes. Um, they're 190, 196cc engines. They're they're good little engines. They got a little pop to them. They're six. They're six and a half, or they're six horsepower stock, because they're just a few cc smaller than than obviously the 212. But uh, so they're six horsepower even, and uh, you can get all sorts of. Uh, go power sports parts for them, but uh, the doodle bug was much cheaper. I already had the engine. I already had the torque converter uh, The engine plate whole nine yards. So 
I went with the Doodlebug. And uh, also had the throttle handle here. I got the throttle linkage all hooked up. So we're almost ready to go. There's a couple more things I have to do. And one of those is, ow, and I step on a bolt. Um, I have to, whoa, it's running away from me. Uh, this is the, um, the chain tensioner that came with the doodle bug. If you look down below, you'll notice the chain is hanging. Uh, do your chain hang low. Yep, I went there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to weld a tab, probably roughly in the area where I cut off the bracket for the rear fender. Because, and I took the fender off because, and the fender mount bracket, because it just was taking up so much engine space and it made it so much easier to put the engine in there. And it's a 212, so you're gonna have a little more power. And uh, this, I believe this engine was originally built for, or the engine, try again, the uh, mini bike was built for one of the little uh, 80cc engines. Um, cause then the original mount blade does not, does not fit a 212 engine, but, um, the bike fits it nicely. So, um, that's what I got for you guys right now. Next video will be a riding video. Um, I'll finally be able to uh, show off a project for you guys where I'm actually riding around on it. Um, going to get a handlebar grip on the other side of this and, uh, we're going to be in business. It's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. I've wanted a little mini bike like this for so long and I'm so excited to get it running. Um, oh, I've, I just remembered I also have to attach or I have to put the oil catch can on there um, that I had or that I had bought for the gas bike. So that's what I got going on right now. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Um, once again, I, I wish you a blessed Christmas holiday. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Spend lots of time with, uh, with your family, your loved ones, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. We'll see you then.